WKNJ 90.3 FM, live Ustream.tv, Air of the Streets Radio, actually it's Radio Air of the Streets, every Monday night, 9 p.m. to midnight, all men are in my, my good friend and co-host, DJ Absurd, you know, we give you those bangers, those joints. We have a very special guest in the house, in the house right now, he is all the way from Brooklyn, New York, out of the Coney Island section, and he goes by the name of Quest Balboa. What's going on, man? How What's are you? How you feeling? Life is beautiful, life is grand. How's everything going on with you? Everything's good right now. We got the single, mixtape yeah. about to come out, Rock Roller, January 2nd. And the name of the single is My Year? My Year. There yeah, it is right here, Quest Balboa, My Year. So what's been going on, brother? I know you've been in the, you've been in the game for quite, a, for, for quite some time now, and you've been out there grinding. What keeps the hunger in you? Um, the music, honestly, is just the hip-hop, the whole vibe of the hip-hop. Um, a lot of people talking about how hip hop is dead or or hip hop is going in a in a in a, in a in a bad direction. To me, it's just evolution. You know, it, when I, when I hear when I hear all the music that's out, I feel like I could do better with most of the tracks, and that that inspires me to keep writing. You okay. know. And how would you best describe your sound? Um, street, street, uh, mainstream, um, underground. I mean, it's just pretty much everything. I I. I I consider myself like a real eclectic when it comes to music. I listen to all types of different stuff, so I don't really try to keep myself in a box. Whatever whatever sounds good to me is what I do. And now my next question to you is that, being that we're in the digital age and a lot of guys don't really make physical copies of when it comes to like a single, or or when they do the mixtape, they do the download. When you come out with your mixtape, are you going to have physical copies? Yeah, always. Okay. Always. You've got to have the physical copies. And, be, and, that because, and for the single, how come you decided to press up physical copies? Because a lot of guys will say just go to SoundCloud, download it, or you can go on Two Dope Boys or, or all the sites. What made you say, <coughs> I mean, I'm going to actually... The whole digital movement is cool. Is, I mean, it makes things a lot, lot easier for you, to, for you to get to the music. But, I mean, people like me, I still like having that, that, that CD. And that's it's, the same it's way I am. I like right, having it's that something about copy. having that CD in mm-hmm. your hand, you know? It's getting all the artwork, you see a nice fresh CD with with with, 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 the, with the artwork and and the case. I don't know. It's like I guess it's, it's kind of like and, an old and, school feel. Yeah, and that's the, that's where I grew up on that. I like right. see, and honestly, I like seeing who who they shout out, who the producers were. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. So, who are some of the producers you worked with on your mixtape project? Um, one uh, well, this this dude named Decap from Decap Beats, Nicholas um Pianti Dosi. Um, he produced like half of the, half of the tracks on on the mixtape, and me and my cousin M Sharp, we produced the other half. Okay. Oh, so you're a producer and an MC. You yeah, do both. I do okay. both. Jack of all trades, as I like to call I it. I try to be, you know, especially nowadays. Mm. And in production, do you sample or is it just straight, or do you just use the um, the programs like um, Reason or Fruity Loops, or do you? Sa- me, me personally, I don't really like sampling. I, I really like like having everything original. You know, I mean, sampling is cool. You know, but I w- I want to create leg- um classic tracks. I don't want to take classic tracks and redo them. You know, and and I understand that, but I look at it from the standpoint of, um, as a producer and as and then because our art form was created on sampling, right? So, in a sense, like in a sense like that, I understand what you're saying, but I the reason why I like the sampling person because it gives it because that's how hip hop was started, and it's taking something, creating creating something and then making something out of it. That's how I view it as. But like I said, and I understand where you're coming from with creating well, your for own. Me, for me, I want to I want to be the dude that they sample from. You know, I want everybody sampling me. Okay. You know, with samples, it's too much clearance, too much stuff you gotta go through, and it's just not worth it for me. I mean, if I hear a dope sample, don't don't get me wrong, I'll jump on it. You know, but I just, I, I like I like I like original I like originality. I, I like that creative aspect of it, where yeah. everything is just fresh and brand new. And when exactly did you start making music? Uh, early nineties. Mm-hmm. Early nineties, I could say. And you keep your mute, and, uh, and from the tracks, I've heard you really keep your sound to that real Brooklyn street gutter sound. You know, that's who I am, man. I'm Brooklyn to the death. Oh, right, that's what it's seven one eight to seven eight to the casket drop. Damn right, Coney that's Island was born and raised. See Rise Projects. Okay, I live on Flatbush now. Mm-hmm. Love Flatbush to death. And too. when we think of Coney Island, the first thing that comes to mind is the amusement park in it, and um, right, right. And, and Stephon Marbury and Sebastian Telepe right, right. that's I all the ball. Actually, I actually used to play with Stephon when I was younger too. Because that's where the ball players. That's where the I, Yeah, that's where all the ball players come from. Right. But now I must say, you know, like you said, you're doing the music thing. You're trying to give Coney Island another name, you know? Right, trying to right, do what, right. you have, what has to be done. Trying to give Brooklyn, period, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, Jay is the only one really really holding it down right now. There's a couple of cats from Brooklyn, too, but they're not really getting the recognition that they should. There's a lot of nice dudes from Brooklyn. But I'm, I'm trying to be that dude to, to, to step it back up, okay. you know, to bring the East back. Okay. 
And so, like I said, we have a few joints. We have a few joints and and a few songs. And as I said, when is the mixtape dropping? What's the exact date? January second, rock roller. Okay. And that, that is, it's it's sick. It's and how, your hottest and how, and how many and right? how many mixtape? How many songs are on the mixtape? Um, it's about it's about I say twelve to thirteen. And and that's how mixtape should songs, be. Full songs, right? And that's really what a mixtape shouldn't have more than twelve yeah. to thirteen. It's tracks. about it's about like three freestyles, but everything else is all original. Okay, and that's all thir- original beats, original tracks, everything. Okay. And do you have somebody hosting, or is it just just nah. Okay, I mean, nothing wrong me. with that. It's just me and my peoples. Okay. Well, I want to say thank you for coming up. You know, we're going to get into some joints from you. Oh, we have to blast off some of your joints tonight. And mm-hmm. definitely check out for this for this gentleman, Quest Balboa. You know, enter the streets every Monday night at midnight. Yes, sir. And you're going to stick around and do a freestyle for us. Most definitely. Most definitely. All right. Enter the streets every Monday night, 9 p.m. to midnight, Ustream.tv, Radio Air to the Streets on the TV channel. Don't be here or be square. If you ain't tuning into us, you're not more than a poser and a sucker. Stay up. <laughs>